Hello everyone, and welcome to a sewing project that took three calendar years to complete, though realistically more like a year and two months in actual time. It turns out I forgot to film an actual intro at the start, which is why you're getting this voiceover. Anyway, let's go back in time to the end of 2021 and the bits of this project that I did film. Here we have the materials for my first attempt at sewing a cut sew. Um, first of all, I got the actual knit fabric and the ribbing to go with it uh, from my mum. They're actually, she sewed me really pretty dresses when I was a little girl and she's actually still got a lot of the fabric because it's too pretty to get rid of or give to people who can't sew. But she gave them to me, even though I'm not very good at sewing, so yay! She also loaned me a t-shirt pattern, which I'll be using as a base. And then I went into my stash, I have some satin ribbon that matches in colour pretty well, even though the shine makes it look like it doesn't, but it's a pretty good match in real life. And then I've got these four lace options um, that are just from my stash. Um, I'm honestly leaning toward probably using one of the two bottom ones if I use lace at all, but basically my first step is going to be see if I can make something that I can actually wear and trims come later. I'm checking out all the pattern instructions and all of that now, but gotta love oldish patterns. You know, use foundation pattern blah, 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 for women with figure problems. Just blah. gotta laugh because otherwise it's uh, pretty cringe. I'll try and find out when this is from. I mean, it's probably like from the 70s or 80s, which it's old, but it's not that old. Only a minor amount of chaos later, I have my two pattern pieces. Um, this one is both the front and the back. That one is the sleeve. The sleeve I need to widen at the center by about 10 centimeters to let it have sort of like the poof, but that's easy enough to eyeball. I mean, I should have traced it better, but basically, since I have no idea what I'm doing, the whole thing is I'm just gonna do it. And if it works out, I'll do a better job of the pattern. I like, can actually cut a different, like a separate front and back because the um, center neckline is gonna be different. But for now, it's good enough and I will start Pinning and cutting. Here we go. First bit ready to cut. I'm too lazy to actually get out my tripod and pop my camera, so I'm like filming on my phone, but we are about to start. Wish me luck. Progress update. And please ignore the mess and the fact that I'm still in my glorious pajama pants, but I have a functioning t-shirt body. So the pattern said to uh, like put your shoulder seams together, then put your sleeves in and then do up your side seam and under the uh, under arm <laughs> of the sleeve. But because I'm going to do like um, more poofy sleeves, I decided against doing that. Also because I've never done this before and I wanted to know if it would actually, you know, work. And well, great news, it has. I mean, I will be shortening it to about like, belly button or a little higher level and adding like a ruffle and obviously have to finish the neckline and everything but it's it fits and it's pretty cute now the only issue is I've got the gaping here so I am gonna have to figure out how to fix that because also I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming along so far so I am gonna actually update my pattern pieces because this has actually been like easy as <laughs> so far and I'm like my mom has like other colors of, um, <laughs> you know, nice knit fabric and I could make myself a lot of cut sews without having to buy anything. So like, yeah. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll hopefully be working on sleeves or fixing this, but yeah, I gotta do some research now. But for now, I'm going to go play Minecraft. Who put this project down for two months? This guy. I am way less excited about it than I probably just appeared. Basically, yeah, I started working on this in mid-January, and as I said earlier, it's really fast, really quick. However, I then got a bed in my room, which meant I needed to move my sewing table out to the living room, which was fine and dandy, but we did keep putting stuff on it and just using it as a dumping ground, so I didn't actually really sew much at all. And then we got this glorious piece of furniture you can see behind me as a replacement sewing desk, which is absolutely wonderful. I've got all my patterns out. It's got drawers where I can fit everything. My actual machines are out. It's nice. And I also uh, <clears throat> made a bit of a pact with James where I'm like, if anything that's not 
mine ends up on this desk, I am going to eat it off. And um, we talked about it, it's not actually as passive aggressive as it sounds because we talked about it like, you know, grown-ups, but uh... <laughs> anyway, the long story is, yes, it may be two months later, but I do actually have a physical space and the mental space to start working on this cut. So again, I am hoping to get it finished. It's like, I don't know, 6.30 on a Saturday evening now. I want to get this damn thing finished by 8 o'clock if I can. Because, you know, then I need food and time to watch TV and eat, play games and, you know, stuff. So, let's get back to it. Next thing I need to do is sew up the bottom of the sleeve and then attach the sleeves to the bodice. I need to put that little dart in the, in the chest area and then try it back on and see how we're going. So, like, semi-apologies for the very variable quality of light in particular, but also, like, filming angles and stuff. I haven't really figured out how to make this area work on camera yet, but I'm getting there. The problem with not really knowing how to sew is that sewing gets really confusing. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how to make my dots even. <sighs> Just trying it on, just trying it on with the um, darts done and like not perfect, but it fits a lot better and it looks okay and well, I can tweak it after I got the sleeves in, but. Welcome to your nice sewing machine close up angle. Who knows how well it will work? Like I said, figuring it out. But what we're doing now is pinning the sleeves in place. first glance that's not seeming too bad I'll just fix up that hole then I'm gonna try it on and then I'll come back to you and possibly cry as you can see sleeve is in it's not too bad I'm okay with it the only problem is I sort of gathered it too far back like it's hard to tell but the back is <laughs> a lot better looking than the front so I am gonna call it quits for tonight because I'm getting very frustrated, in case you couldn't tell by all the swearing, and also my camera's almost run out of card on my memory space, so I'll get back to it some other time, but we are getting there. Time for a really blunt update. It's 2023 now. I'm pretty sure I last touched this project in March 2022. It's now January 2023. We are in the process of moving, so I am bound and determined to get this darn thing finished today. So where I left off, I had inserted one sleeve, but I'd gathered it too far back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the other sleeve in, hopefully get that one positioned correctly, then take off the first sleeve and um, reinsert it, uh, basically. And then basically it's just neckline, elastic for the sleeves, hemming the sleeves, a ruffle for the bottom, which needs to be you know cut, hemmed, gathered, sewn on, and then theoretically we're finished. <laughs> I'll be completely frank, it's okay because um, the gathering stops like 
right at the shoulder seam, which is not great, but compared to this, where the gathering starts at the back of the shoulder seam, I'm moderately happy and I'm just, I'm kind of done. I just want this finished, so I'm just gonna leave this sleeve as it is, hopefully do a better job redoing this sleeve and almost be one step closer to finishing. This is gonna be like live react. I haven't seen what the sleeves look like, so uh, let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Ah, oh, big relief. Those look perfectly adequate. So as you saw in my little uh, reveal, the sleeves are adequate. They're not perfect, but they're good enough. So because I've just got to put some elastic in and hem them, that's sort of basic. The next challenging bit, or, you know, bit I've never done before, is doing the ribbing for the neckline. I looked up a tutorial, I'll link the one I use in the description below, so now I just have to do some, uh, <laughs> maths. And hope for the best. And the reason why, despite being an Australian, I do a lot of sewing stuff in inches, is because there's... It means you work with smaller numbers, and I like smaller numbers. 14 for the front. Hi! Love you too. I'm having trouble with maths again. You're having what? Trouble with maths. Can I help you? No, I got out my calculator. I was close! I had to do 25 divided by 4. And I got to 6 point something, I just couldn't figure out what the something was. Really? Well, I mean, I would have gotten there eventually, but... I just thought 4. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, I would have gotten there eventually, but I got... Love, love. <laughs> Initially I was like, 51? <laughs> things. One, I, I, I'm really happy with the neckline. It came out nice and neat and I, I'm quite happy. Two, I tried it on and I have pinned up um, where I'm going to trim off the bottom and where I'm going to trim the sleeves to. And then with the sleeves I'm just going to hem it and then about an inch up I'll just sew elastic to the inside to get a gathered puffy effect. And on the bottom I'm just going to make a probably again about an inch wide ruffle which I will gather and sew to the bottom and then I'll be done so <laughs> we are finally on the home stretch after like a year and a half I don't know how long it's been but it spanned three calendar years and that's a little embarrassing given that realistically this is quite a simple project and even for me who has never sewed with this before it's coming along quite well one minute 37 seconds later you know what I'm kind of at a point where I just want to get this done, so I am going to turn off the camera. Um, given that I've talked you through what I'm going to do, it's pretty basic from here on out. So I will, yeah, like I said, turn it off for now, and I will see you at the reveal. There we have it! The katsu worked! I, maybe I shouldn't sound so surprised, but like I said, this is my first project uh, working with like a jersey knit, and it fits! It looks nice! I mean, it's it's not perfect, like my neckline's a little too um, V-shaped, the gathering on my um, hem ruffle isn't even, because... <laughs> I, uh, what I did with the bottom is I um, sewed it as a, like a tube, and when I tried to gather it, just uh, my thread wasn't powerful enough, and uh, so I just had to sort of manually gather it by hand, and I did a bit of a wonky job. But, but, it's on, it looks fine, it's comfortable, the inside's a little bit of a mess, but because it's this kind of fabric, it really doesn't matter, and yeah, all in all, I'm just overjoyed that this worked, and I, uh, We'll potentially tackle making more cutsos in the future, not anytime soon, but hey, um, <laughs> well, I'm darn glad, 
Wow, I can't do words. I am very glad that something that took three calendar years did actually turn out. I would have been kind of annoyed if it hadn't, but it did, so I'm not annoyed. I'm actually really happy. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this, um, mildly chaotic, uh, sewing video, and hey, until next time, bye-bye!